Hello you guys, Sans is Gaming one of you today and today I am uh, actually making a continuation on the custom arrows video because I actually added a lot of custom arrows because I was talking with some friends and we came up with a lot of cool ideas for cool arrows and well I made them so now we've got a lot of new ones first to, for this to work I'm going to need to command block output false otherwise my chat's gonna be spammed the entire time and we don't want that so first let me just demonstrate the new arrows so you can see first we only had slow poison and uh, explosive but now we also have a lightning arrow frost trap arrow smoke arrow and an ender arrow so we're just gonna start with the lightning arrow uh, I've just got a normal bow right here and lightning hits wherever we shoot it's pretty cool it's just lightning hits uh, pretty straightforward pretty cool and I'm just gonna put out the fire next arrow so we can just get the map again if you want to know how the other if you want to see the other arrows or know want to know how they work um, check my previous video that's also why I'm not gonna be explaining the entire um, thing because a lot of it I already explained a lot of it before in the other video so next we're going to do the frost trap arrow so this one actually takes some cleanup but boom ice <laughs> so it just puts a huge block of ice so you can trap things in there so let's say well it's unpeaceful so that's not really gonna work I place a cow yeah ignore that <laughs> Uh, yeah, so little problem. Wait just a minute. <laughs> that cow that's from another system, so please just ignore that. And I trapped the cow in ice. That's what I was trying to do. So yeah, basically there's another system in this world that's constantly summoning poison potions of poison at that cow which I think is the catapult right over there I thought I turned that off but apparently not so next <laughs> smoke arrow so the smoke arrow is basically like a smoke bomb it just there's a lot of smoke around the place you shoot it to I guess kind of make people unaware of where they are where you are just kind of because you barely, can barely see through it. So yeah. The smoke arrow. And if I just pick it up. It all goes away. And uh, last. But not least. The. What the. God damn it. I guess the ice frost wrap arrow thing got activated. Ah. Uh, weird. Right. So. Ender arrow. It just. Anywhere I shoot. I got TP'd. So, boom, it's basically just like an ender pearl, but it's an arrow. Pretty straightforward, also. So, the basically the only things I added are, were a lot more rows of these. I already explained what these do. They basically just set all of these to redstone blocks or air blocks to lock the comparators that only one of the arrow systems can be active at a time. But the only thing I'm going to be looking at right now, because I already explained also the tile roll commands, which will be in the description. I basically use tile roll commands to activate that in the chat so that you can click on it, which will activate them. Blah de blah. Explained that in my last video, which I will link in the description below. So I'm just going to go ahead and explain the arrow. So it's testing for an arrow in the ground. Also explained that in the last video. And then this is the lightning arrow. It's executing at the arrow summon lightning bolt. It's uh, pretty simple. It's just summoning a lightning bolt at the arrow. But if you don't do all of these other command blocks like this. It will actually only do it with the first arrow. And the first... Uh, errors after that won't get the li lightning bolt summoned. So what I did is I execute at the arrow I summon a silverfish with no AI so that it doesn't run away Then I execute at the silverfish to kill all the arrows within a radius of five Which is pretty big radius, but you could also do it way smaller so that it kills the arrow So that when you shoot another arrow and then it kills the silverfish so that when you shoot another arrow it will also the lightning so that you can shoot as many lightning arrows as you want 
Next one. So this one is actually only one command block. Um, what this actually just does is it executes at the arrow, fill, and then just some relative coordinates, ice, zero, replace air. So basically what this does is that it replaces air with ice, but it doesn't like replace the nether quartz or command blocks with ice, so that it doesn't do just turn your entire world into ice, but only the air blocks. So yeah, also pretty useful. Oh yeah. Uh, next one which is also only one command block is just basically this is the ender arrow it's really simple it's just tp add p to add e type is arrow so it's constantly tp'ing the player to the arrow so as soon as there is an arrow the player gets teleported to it Ta -da! but yeah so and basically the way this works that you don't constantly get teleported to the same arrow is as soon as you get teleported to the arrow you actually pick up the arrow but if you have infinity this won't work so if you this won't work with an infinity bow the end arrow so good to keep that in mind the next one is the smoke arrow so it's basically if the arrow is in the ground these are just four uh of the same commands basically execute at e type is arrow particle smoke and then uh, this is the command for summoning the smoke. And then I'm summoning them four of these smoke clouds above each other. So that there's a lot of smoke continuously. Uh, now why it doesn't just summon the smoke once but it keeps coming is a little trick I use a lot. It's set block unpowered comparator 2. So it's basically setting this block to an unpowered comparator. So that every time it activates it deactivates, activates, deactivates, activates. So that the smoke keeps summoning. And uh, yeah, those are basically four new arrows for the custom arrows. Will be a new world download in the description. So that you can de get this version of the custom arrows system. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.